Prior year development is a term unique to the insurance industry. It's known by many names, such as favorable development, adverse development, reserve release, or one of my favorite insurance euphemisms, reserve strengthening. This concept has a relatively simple definition, but if you really want to understand what it represents, stick around while I take the mystery out of it. Thanks for joining me. I'm Don Grimm, actuary and owner of Archer Actuarial Consulting. Let's get started. Prior year development is the change in estimates of ultimate loss between two evaluation dates for prior accident years. So let's start exploring this concept with the help of an example of prior year development, specifically for calendar year 2023. We're going to begin by focusing on the first part of the definition. Prior year development is the change in estimates of ultimate loss between two evaluation dates. In the example for calendar year 2023, prior year development equals estimated ultimate loss evaluated as of 12-31-2023 less the corresponding estimate of ultimate loss evaluated as of 12-31-2022. So far, this formula describes the ultimate loss development for calendar year 2023, but we've ignored the prior year part. Returning to the definition, we see that our estimates of ultimate loss are limited to prior accident years. In this example, this means that each of the ultimate loss estimates include only accident years 2022 and prior. This limitation ensures that each estimate of ultimate loss is on an apples to apples basis with respect to the scope of insured exposure. In other words, Prior year development is a measure of change in estimates of ultimate loss for identical accident periods. In the next slide, we're going to expand on this example to further clarify the point. Let's expand our prior year development example for calendar year 2023 to include amounts by accident year. Note that as before, we have estimates of ultimate loss as of 12-31-2022 and 12-31-2023. Now here we're going to assume that the insurance program under review began in 2016. So as of year end 2023, we have accident years from 2016 through 2023. But since we're looking for prior year development in calendar year 2023, accident years before 2023 are considered prior accident years, while accident year 2023 would be considered the current accident year. Okay, let's take a step back and define a few terms. Ultimate loss is the total value of payments made on all eligible claims. This amount cannot be known with certainty until all claims have been reported, paid, and permanently closed. And this can take years, even decades, before the ultimate value of losses are known with certainty. And before that time, estimates of ultimate loss are necessary. These estimates are often performed by accident year. An accident year is any 12 month period during which accidents occur. Now back to our example. In column A, we have our estimates of ultimate loss by accident year from 2016 through 2022, evaluated as of 12-31-2022. And in total, estimated ultimate loss equals 85.7 million. So this amount reflects information known through year end 2022. Column B to the right contains estimates of ultimate loss through 12-31-2023. And for the purposes of calculating prior year development, we're only interested in the amounts corresponding to the prior accident years. These amounts total $86.3 million. The amount corresponding to accident year 2023, the current accident year, reflects losses with accident dates subsequent to year-end 2022. And these losses are not included in the evaluation of prior year development because it's the current accident year. The next column to the right, column C, presents the change in estimates of ultimate loss between year-end 2022 
and year-end 2023. Again, excluding amounts related to the current accident year, we can see that the change for accident years 2022 and prior equals $600,000. This amount represents the prior year development for calendar year 2023 in our example. So let's do a quick recap. The calendar year 2023 prior year development of $600,000 is a result of the change in estimates of ultimate loss between the end of 2022 and the end of 2023, excluding the current accident year, which is 2023. Let's discuss some additional terminology related to prior year development. A positive amount of prior year development is also called adverse development. An adverse development corresponds to an increase in the insurer's estimates of ultimate loss. As a result of this increase, insurer profitability for the period is decreased. On the other hand, a negative amount of prior year development is also called favorable development. And favorable development corresponds to a decrease in the insurer's estimate of ultimate loss. As a result of this decrease, insurer profitability for the period is increased. Adverse development is sometimes called reserve strengthening. Now, to me, the phrase reserve strengthening sounds like a good thing, but really it's just another way of saying that prior estimates of ultimate loss were inadequate and more money is required to satisfy loss reserve liabilities. Similarly, favorable development is sometimes called a reserve release meaning that prior estimates of ultimate loss were redundant and some amount of reserve liabilities can be released, thereby increasing the insurer's profitability in that period. Now you may be wondering how ultimate losses and loss reserves are related. And the next slide will connect the dots with the help of our example. But first, let's look at another definition for ultimate loss. Previously, we defined ultimate loss as the total value of payments made on all eligible claims. Ultimate loss can also be defined as the sum of paid loss and unpaid loss. Insurers are required to carry a reserve provision for unpaid loss. We call that a loss reserve. So another way to look at ultimate loss is the sum of paid loss and estimated loss reserves. Let's return to our example and see how all the pieces relate. The highlighted columns contain the same information we looked at earlier, estimated ultimate loss by accident year as of year end 2022, year end 2023, and the change in these two evaluations, which is calendar year 2023. We're going to break out the ultimate loss estimates into their respective components, paid loss, and estimated loss reserves. Lastly, we're going to gray out the accident year 2023 row because that row is not used in any of our calculations of prior year development. Recall that we previously determined that in this example, there was $600,000 of prior year development in calendar year 2023. Now we could have described this change as $600,000 of reserve strengthening. Another way to look at this is that in calendar year 2023, there was an increase of $7.1 million of paid loss and a decrease of $6.5 million in estimated loss reserves. These two components combine to yield a $600,000 increase in the estimated ultimate loss. Now this is where things get really tricky. Notice that there was a decrease in the estimated loss reserves. Yet, we just said that we could describe the change as reserve strengthening. So what's going on here? The term reserve strengthening does not refer to the change in estimated loss reserves in the calendar year. It refers to the change in estimated ultimate loss. It would be more accurate to describe the change as ultimate strengthening rather than reserve strengthening, but this is the prevailing terminology in the industry. Ostensibly, the term reserve strengthening is used because an increase in loss reserves results in an increase in ultimate loss. We can see this relationship in the formula for ultimate loss. So the strengthening in reserve strengthening is actually a reference to what loss reserves would have been 
if ultimate loss estimates were unchanged from their previous value. In other words, in our example, loss reserves as of year end 2023 would have been $600,000 lower if not for the $600,000 increase in ultimate loss estimates. And that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit me at archeractuarial.com.